Welcome to the FuseNet How-To Series. This video will discuss tips and strategies you can use when searching for data in the FuseNet Data Explorer. I'm Zoe Wingate, the FuseNet Documentation Specialist. In this video, you'll learn to use effective search terms, access filters efficiently, and modify or reset your search criteria. The first step in searching for data is to choose a domain from the navigation menu to the left. You'll find a brief description in the header of each domain page, as we see for the acute food insecurity classifications. Our search and filter options are going to vary by domain as well, as we see for acute food insecurity classifications versus the spatial domain versus the prices domain. Looking at the search bar, let's consider what search terms we can use for a particular domain. For the prices domain, this will correspond to the filters available here, including searching for a country or market, a product, a CPC code, or a price type. So for example, we can broadly search for prices in Aden, or we can begin to combine search terms. So searching for Aden wheat flour shows us data series related to wheat flour prices in Aden. Using search terms can be useful when you want to look at a particular set of data, such as our example of wheat flour in Aden, and it can also be a quick way to begin to browse. So for example, we can search for maize in Yemen, and that's going to bring up quite a few results, which I can then begin to scan and scroll through. Using our filters will be helpful for browsing data, refining our searches, and building a complex set of search criteria. One option is to apply a filter to further refine our search for maize in Yemen. So for example, by selecting import for the product source. Let's move on to another example where we use the filters exclusively. First, I'll click reset search. Our filters are searchable. So going over to the markets filter, as I start typing in a few characters, we see that the matching filter options are populating here. So I'm intentionally bringing up Kenya and we can see the available markets are nested below. I'm going to select the entire country, thereby filtering for, for all markets in Kenya. Similarly, I'll start searching for maize under product. I could choose a particular type of maize, but um, since I'm browsing and if I'm not yet familiar with the data, I'll probably use the more general category to capture more results. I'm going to add one more product filter for sorghum. And then I'll select one more filter to look at wholesale prices. So here are my results. Now let's take a look at modifying a search. At any time I can open and collapse the selected filters drawer to, and this will allow me to easily see all of my filters together. I can deselect them from the drawer or by clicking on them in the filter itself. So let's remove sorghum and my search results have updated. Now we can continue to add or remove filters and use the reset search button as needed. Thanks for watching. For more information about the Data Explorer, go to help.fuse.net/fde. Don't forget to subscribe to the FuseNet channel for more how-tos.